What's up, guys? Um, I know it's been a long time no see, but I just wanted to make a quick video to let everybody know that I'm still here, and I haven't lost, you know, I haven't gave up on my channel or anything, but um, I hadn't been paid in over a month at the job, you know, the lady I cleaned for, and um, everything has been cut off. The phone service, which is was how I used the internet, and so I have to stop at Wi-Fi sometimes just to, like, check my messages or whatever. But um, I started a GoFundMe page. Um, not had any luck with it yet, but uh, if you want to go check it out, it's called Overwork and Underpaid. Um, I'll see if I can post a link in the, con you know, in the thing below so that way you guys can go check it out. Um, or you can go to my Twitter and stuff, and there'll be links there all over my Twitter and stuff. Um but uh, I love you guys and I miss y'all very much. Uh, it looked kind of rough today. Uh, I have a bad toothache and just the whole thing up there is just really jacked up and it's just bad. <laughs> um, but anyways, my birthday is Monday. Um, I guess I got the birthday blues, especially with everything going wrong in my life right now. Um, I can't even find another job. I've been looking and... Uh, probably gonna be a sucky birthday um i want to try to make it a good one but honestly i don't know what else i can do i doors keep getting slammed in my face metaphorically you know um, all i hear is no no one really cares no one really wants to help when someone needs it the most and um so i'm really hurt right now i don't know what else i could do to make things better I'm trying really hard and I'm trying to not cry right now because it hurts my mouth when I cry because the whole side of my face hurts me anyway um I'll be back oh yeah there's a kitty we're sitting at McDonald's and there's this cute cat with he don't have really have a tail and he's so hungry so I had some leftover chicken in here and I pulled it off the bone so he wouldn't choke and I gave him some. He, he was scared, but I threw it towards him, and he finally got the chicken, and he walked away. He was so cute. Anyways, I just want to tell you guys that I'm still here. Um, I'll try to post again soon. I've been trying to take this time without my phone service to catch up on a lot of reading, and I've been doing some writing and just working on some you know creative stuff so that way when i i'm able to start posting on a regular basis again i can do so and i'll have some good and new stuff for you guys and i mean i'm sure i'll make it through this rough time and i'll make it out wiser and stronger but this woman that i clean for and if y'all follow me on snapchat you know how bad it gets um Animal control won't even take the cat. They won't even come. She's got over 40 cats. There's poop all over the house. I'm not even been cleaning for her anymore because she's not been paying me. But she still expects me to come in seven days a week and baby her and rub her back and feed the cats. And and then she, you know, keeps asking me to clean the house. And I'm like, why? And with what? You know, like, it's just, it's so bad over there right now. I just, I'm burnt out on it for three years. I have been cleaning her house and the cats and her go right behind me and mess everything up all over again as I'm cleaning. And the house is so bad right now that I'm gonna have to hire somebody to help me clean it, but I can't hire somebody when I can't pay them because I'm not even been getting paid. Because her check, she had to close her account and she was supposed to call the place she gets her checks from to have them reroute it to her home address. She never did that. Now her phone's cut off, and so is mine. And, I mean, her brother called me from New Jersey yesterday, you know, trying to find out, you know, what's going on. And um, so it's just like the Adult Protective Services got involved. You know, me and somebody else have been calling them. The neighbors have called them. And they, they keep saying they paid her phone bill, but they didn't because I called and I found out that nobody had made a payment at all. So he lied to me about that, and all he cares about is getting glory for the cat food he's bought her. And it's just like, and they did pay her utilities because everything got cut off within uh, two days apart from each other. Everything was cut off. And then I went and bought her a converter box and an antenna so she could at least watch TV. And um, but then her phone got cut off again, and nobody's paid it. And it's like she, as as mean as she is to me, she's still an old lady who falls sometimes and does not need to be home alone without a phone. Because what if she starts having a heart attack or something? You know that woman needs her phone on. But anyways, I'm, 
I could talk about everything that's going on and it would take hours to tell y'all everything but if y'all do follow me on snapchat y'all know most of what's going on and i'll put all my stuff down below my twitter my facebook my snapchat my tiktok all that so that way y'all can oh also i am an aunt finally my little sister had her baby on the 27th i think it was the 26th a little girl her name is sage but she's a month early so please keep her in your prayer. She's not been able to go home yet. First, she was on oxygen for a few days. Then she came off the oxygen. Thought she was doing better, but then she had blood in her stool. And um, then there wasn't any, so they thought she was doing better, but they did x-rays on her intestines, and now suddenly they've sent her to Nashville Hospital where they have, I guess, better uh, equipment and specialists that can help whatever's causing this blood. So we're really scared. My sister's terrified, and I know she's freaking out, and I just wish I could be with her all the time to help get her through this. And um, she's just really stressed out. So keep playing, praying for my sister, Christine, and the baby Sage, and um, that everything will be okay and the baby will heal quickly and get strong enough to be able to come home soon and uh, my birthday is monday you know, i think i already said that and then there's christmas around the corner and at this point i'm probably not going to get paid before christmas i don't i don't see her getting her stuff situated and getting her check coming in before christmas so that means another christmas where i can't provide for my kids because last year she screwed me before christmas and wouldn't pay me she paid me after christmas and then didn't even give me the bonus that she had promised me so she she tries to always screw me and i still came in to work on christmas i work every holiday Every day, seven days a week. I didn't go in yesterday, though, because my tooth was hurting so bad that I said, screw her. I'm saying, you know, I rent, I take the kids to their doctor's appointment. And when I come, in, I come home, I got in bed and I put ice on my face. And I've just been trying to get this pain to stay away, but it keeps coming back. Anyways, so I love you guys. And if I don't see y'all again before the holidays, um, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas, happy Christmas, <laughs> happy New Year, uh, and anything else. About, oh, happy Yule. So, um, I guess that's it. And happy birthday to me. Yay. <laughs> Another year of hell. Really? No, this year's going to be better. I'm going to do a little thing where I just kind of renew myself on my birthday. Because it's going to be a new moon on my birthday. So that's a good sign. So I'm going to do like a little cleansing ritual where I just kind of like let... Because I think my life is going through birthing pains right now. And so all the old negative stuff is trying to die away. So good and positive things can be reborn in my life. And I think that means me not working for Phyllis anymore. I really think that's what that means. So, anyways, go check out my GoFundMe if you're able to help. That'd be amazing. Um, I love you guys. And if somebody wanted to be like a really big Santa Claus and they wanted to pay my phone bill, it's through Verizon. So, <laughs> that would be amazing if I just woke up one day on my phone and stuff was back on. I owe them quite a bit because uh, even before she stopped paying me, she was still, I was going weeks without getting paid because she kept blowing all of her money on cat food and junk, whatever. And I think she's getting dementia or something. She's just going to see now. So I kept getting behind because I kept not getting paid when I was supposed to be paid. So by the time I stopped getting paid completely, it was too late. And so the phone's been cut off a couple months now. And uh, it is through Verizon. And the name on the account is Amy Warden. If you have any other questions, like if you do actually want to do that for me, um, send me, I guess, uh, a comment on here or Snapchat or something or Twitter, whatever. And I'll, so that way if you have some questions uh, about, about it, like if you are going to do that, but I doubt anybody's actually going to do that. I doubt anybody's got the money to do that. And even the people that did have the money probably won't do it. So it's most of the time it's those kind of people that don't care. So, I'm just, I'm feeling really jaded right now, guys. I'm sorry. But I'm going to get, because i got to leave this hot spot. And i got to go back to the cat lady's house to feed her cats and probably rub her back a million times. So, hmm, fuck my life. Bye, guys.